Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another Saturday um, rip. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, today we have uh, three 2023 Tops Archives blaster boxes. One of the ones, uh, one of the blasters my wife bought me. I was having a, a rough day at work, so she was very sweet and went out and got me a blaster box. It was this one. So I want to give a shout out to my wife. She's an awesome wife. She wanted to cheer me up. Um, so I really appreciate it. I love you. And so thank you for doing that for me. So we will rip this one first, see how we do. Um, and then the other two I was able to pick up later on. So yeah, big shout out to my wife. I love you very much. Thanks for doing that for me. So hopefully we hit something good out of this blaster for you, sweetheart. Um, 56 total cards, seven cards per box, or seven packs per box, eight cards per pack. So I do like the foil cards in these. I have ripped these uh, from previous year. Uh, last year, I really do like the set. Um, it's got all different designs from different sets, very various years. Uh, it says the 1956, 2003, and it looks like 65, I believe. So, um, yeah, they have the uh, the Hit Stars 1957, the Double Headers, and the Baby Bombers. Some of the inserts. Um, love to pull an auto out of here for you guys. Um, so yeah, love to hit a baby bomber auto. That'd be awesome. Or just an auto would be sweet. Um, so yeah, I do like this set a lot. Obviously, we're looking for some of the key rookies. Um, definitely Corbin Carroll, uh, Adley, Gunner, or Volpe will be in here. So, so excited to get into this for you guys. So we will do um, base hits and then rookies over there. Like I said, there's a tons of other um, inserts as well. Looks like Tops Hit Stars, Baseball Comic, Double Headers, Seasons Best, Number Crunchers, Bleacher, Reacher, King of Swing, Kings of Swings, Hill Top, Kings of Swing, Hill Toppers, Leading Looters. So yeah, you get three uh, foil cards, I believe, per blaster, if I'm not mistaken. So. Yeah, hopefully we do good, guys. Love to pull an auto. So let's get into this. My first look at Tops 2023 Archives. Hopefully we hit some good stuff. So I do like to set. I will kind of go over the first box kind of slow. So you guys kind of get the look and feel of it. And then I will kind of go through the other two blasters a little bit quicker. Um, so we can get right to the good stuff. Like I said, you can get like um, image variations, different like, parallels and it's, it's kind of hard to figure out what you've got. There are the packs in there. Um, you kind of have to look at the back of the uh, code on the, the card for the different variations. Um, so it just all depends on what you could possibly get. Like I said, there's different code variations of different, like, um, oh, you know, different um, image variations depending on the code. So there is that. So we will get into this, guys. Wish me luck. Here are the packs. They do have that um, heritage feel to them. That real... I don't know what you describe it. Kind of like the... Yeah, it's interesting. Soft, like, package. It's not real... It just has a very vintage feel. There's the packs, what they look like. Eight cards per pack. Hopefully we can pull an auto out of here, guys. I'd love to pull an auto. I've done well with archives in the past. So, yeah, let's, the packs are a little hard to open. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we have good luck with this set. Let me see if I can get the pack open. These packs are a little tougher than normal to open, so bear with me. There we go. Jeez. I'll show you the front and the back of the card. Start off with a Max Kepler. There's the front. Here's the front. And then there's the back. There's a lot of uh, landscaping cards in the set as well. We do have a Bobby Witt Jr. I do see a blue in here. Nice Kirby Puckett. Nice throwback player. Wade Boggs, another one. Bryce Miller's our first rookie. Joe Moyer. Moyer in our blue is a. Satchel Page on the blue. Don't know if that is numbered. We have another one. 
Nope. Sandy Alcantara. Another blue. So we have two blues. I don't know if these are anything special. I think they're, I don't know if they're just regular cards. They might be, I don't know. I'll set them there for now. But if they are something special, I'll kind of go through and uh, look them up. I'm thinking they're just base, just the way they look. Because I think, yeah, I think you get them in every pack. Alright, Chris Sale. Max Meyer, rookie card. thought for sure. I was wondering if that was an autograph, but they all had their signatures on there. Shintaro Fujinami. thought maybe that was his rookie, but I guess not. We have a Yuri Perez rookie card. That's a nice one right there. He's a key rookie to be on the lookout for. So let me get that sleeved up. That's a nice rookie to start off. He's definitely one of the top key rookies in the set. Let me get him sleeved up. That's a nice rookie right there to hit. So not a bad start. I would love to pull an auto out of this set. These autos are nice. They do have different very uh, different um, formats you can buy. You can buy the hobby. You can buy the uh, collector's hobby box. Which the collector's hobby box, you're guaranteed one auto per box. Um, those run you about seventy bucks, I believe. Um, 70 bucks for that. Um, and then the hobby box, I think are 140. Zach Grinky. We do have a comic of Gunnar Henderson. That's a nice one there. I'll get that sleeved up. And our blue is a, oh, we do have two of the blues, Javier Baez and a Eloy Jimenez. So let me get this Gunner um, sleeved up. Like I said, you do get, um, one, you get two autos in the hobby. Those will run you, I think, 140, and the collector's hobby is like 70. So you get one auto out of that. The blasters are 25, um, roughly 25. I guess it just depends on where you get them from. Uh, the, the these I got from Walmart were 25. So nice Gunner Henderson comic. So I'll take that. Put that in the hip pile. I do like these comics a lot. Kind of reminds me of Bazooka Joe gum, kind of like the old school comics. So that's pretty cool. I like that set. Um, get into the next pack. Let's see what we can get. I'd love to pull a nice hit for you guys. That would be awesome. There's a little bit of hoppy on the back. Zach Gallon. Spencer Strider. Kyle Tucker. Looks like we have our first foil. We have a Josh Bell. Raphael Devers. Simeon Woods Richardson on a rookie card. Our foil is going to be a Wander Franco. Um, that's our first foil. We have two rookies on the blue. Uh, we have a Oswaldo Cabrera and a Logan Ohapi. So that's nice. Two rookies on the blue. Let me get those sleeved up. That's very nice there. I will take that. other blue foil or blue um I think these I think this this might be the design I think it was I don't know if that's the 2023 set it might be the 2023 set that's what it looks like um yeah I don't know put the foil there all right guys so there we go Let's get the next pack up. We have four packs left. See how we do. Not a bad blaster. Hopefully things will heat up in a few. Something good. William, Con William Contreras. Joe Musgrove. What do we have here? We do have a Von Grissom. 
So nice rookie there. Brandon Nimmo. Bryce Terang, rookie card. Paul Blackburn. Brooks Robinson. And a Eddie Murray. That's a throwback player. There we go. All right, guys. Three packs left. So far, our Erie Perez is the only good card in the gunner. There's only two Thurman Munson. We have a Tom Seaver. Robin Yao. We have a Roger Clemens. Nathaniel Lowe. We do have a foil. It is a Derek Jeter. There we go. That's a nice one there. Nice Derek Jeter foil. We have an Alex, Alex Call rookie, a Randy a Rosarena, and a U Darvish. So, not too bad. Um, I'll sleeve those up. Randy is my wife's favorite player. She'll be happy I pulled his card. That'll be for my PC. So far, it's been a fun rip. Like I said, hopefully we get something out of these blasters. If not, I might not might not be buying too much of this. Like I said, it is a fun rip. Um, overall, I think you do get some nice cards out of this set. I do like the fact it has different like variations and different uh, years, formats, and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, if we can pull at least one number card or an auto. Joni Brito, rookie card. Ramon Laureano, George Kirby, Bryson Stout, Stott, Bobby Witt Jr., Dale Murphy, James Altman. That's a nice rookie there. Nice color match. And uh, Nick Prado. So two color matches right there. Nick Prado and James Altman. That's kind of nice. wonder why some are gold and some are just the blue. Oh, it must be the colors, maybe. I'm not sure. It's not numbered for sure, but oh well. I'll sleeve those two up. Right, guys, last pack. Magic. Let's see what we can do. So far, nothing crazy. No number cards. No nothing, really. Um... Uh... I don't know. Hopefully things will heat up in the next two blasters. I'm hoping. Still a fun rip. Um, I'll do a, a final recap at the end. The second blaster will kind of go through a little bit faster. Alright guys, let's see if we can hit something good. Last pack. Mojo. Francisco Lindor. Spencer Torkelson, Buster Posey, Matt Mervis, heard of him, Miguel Vargas, our next foil is a Joe Moyer, we got our three foils, Ezekiel Duran, Hunter Green, and a Brandon Woodruff, so nothing too crazy out of that. We did get a nice rookie, um, nice Gunnar Henderson comic. Um, we did get a Rosarena for the PC. So it wasn't a bad blaster. Would be nice if we had got a number card, but don't think we did, unfortunately. Um, still a fun little rip. Uh, so I'll go through these later to see if I missed anything. Make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, let's get into blaster number two. Hopefully we can pull some heat out of one of these last two. All right, guys, kind of speed this up a little bit.
Hope you guys are doing well on this Saturday. Are you guys getting into anything crazy? You guys having fun? All right, let's get into these packs. See if we can pull an auto for you guys. I'm not going to spend too much time on these base. And the rookies just kind of just another insert. Um, so far, I've been noticing some quality issues with these cards. Some of the corners are kind of dinged up, and I don't know. I'm not too impressed with the quality in this set compared to previous years. I um, feel like the other previous years were a little bit better. Here, do see a oh, we do have a teal card, it looks like a foil card, so we do have something here, guys. It is a Vinny Pasquantino, that's a nice looking card, looks like an aqua foil. That is a nice looking card, Vinny Pasquantino. It is number 275. So that's not a bad pull there. 18 out of 75. So first number card. Jordan Groshans and a Wiley Adamus. So that is a nice Vinny Pasquantino on the Aqua Foil. It's a nice looking card there. So we did get a actually get a number card. So not too bad. It's nice as the first blaster had one, but I'm glad we got one here. It's a very sharp looking card. I will take it. Number to 75. So that's not bad. It's one of the low end, low number cards. Let me move Yuri Perez off to the side. It's our first numbered card. Vinny Pasquantino to 75. An aqua foil. Nice looking card. Let me get this Jordan Rochon's. Sleep up. So, not too bad. I will take it. Still hoping we can pull an auto. I know autos are kind of hard to come by. Um, they're not an easy pull out of this set, I know for a fact. Um, some people get lucky. Just all about luck. Luck of the draw. Um, would I get more of these? Possibly. I could see myself getting some more. I, I do think it's a fun rip. And for 25 bucks, it's not too bad. I do feel like the cards are nice. Except for a little bit of the quality control. Um, other than that, it's still a fun set, I think. Just you see our first foil. There's a nice Francisco Alvarez rookie card. Nice one there. Josh Smith, rookie. Our first foil is a Josh Young. It's a nice one there. Just won the World Series. And nothing crazy out of that. So we're all getting some pretty nice stuff out of these. this set, as you can see. Get a good variety of nice cards. Different parallels, different... Chuck rookie. We do have another comic of Jackie, Jackie Robinson. That's a nice one there. I will gladly take that. Nice comic, Jackie Robinson. And our two blues are Johnny Bench, Bill, and Zach Nito. That's a nice Zach Nito there. Let me get these two sleeved up. I do like the comic set. Those are a nice set. I don't know if I would collect them all, but I do like them a lot. It's a nice change up from having something different compared to um, just the standard base and previous um, archive sets. So they added something different. I'm 
not going to go over everything. I'll just probably go over the key hits. Looks like we have three packs left, guys. So, like I said, I might get some more of this. Um, more than likely, if I see it out in the wild. Got a lot of rookies in the, I think, 2023 tops. Three packs left, guys. Did something good. Come on, auto. We want an auto. We want an auto. That's what we really want. Looks like we have another foil coming up. Jackie Robinson. King Griffey Jr., the kid. That's a nice looking card there. Like the green with the aqua. It's a nice foil there. And nothing too crazy. All right, guys, two packs left. So far, one number card. Um, Julio Rodriguez. And nothing. All right, last, last pack. There we go. A lot of rookies, that's for sure. Got a lot of rookies. Um, looks like we have another foil coming up. Juan Soto. I think that'll do it for this. Hunter Brown and Masataka Yoshida. I see a lot of print lines and stuff on the set too. I'm not too impressed with that. Not too happy. A lot of them have like corner issues, print lines. I don't know. Usually Tops is pretty good about that, considering they're not, you know, foil cards. They're actually paper, but I feel like there's a lot of issues with these. As you can see, there's quite a bit of nice cards you get with this set. Definitely a lot of rookies, for sure. Yeah, there's some print lines like crazy on these. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty crazy. All right, guys. Last blaster. Hopefully, we do good. Um, all right, guys. It has been a fun rip. Hopefully, we can get one more nice hit for you guys. For this to be a success. Um, um, so far, it's not bad. Um, could be a little bit better. Considering, I mean, for only 25 bucks, I guess it's not too bad, but I feel like, like with the quality control and just one number card, it hasn't been the greatest. I know tops can do better, but I'll just put this up there. All right, guys, blaster number three. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up as well. I really appreciate your guys' support. I think we're getting a lot of there's Babe. The Babe. Jordan Alvarez and Pete Alonzo Polar Bear Pete. Come on, Otto. Love the pull auto. Love, love, love the pull auto. That'd be awesome. Uh, let's see what we can pull out of these. We do have a comic of Juan Soto. And I think that's it. Yep, that's a nice comic there. Nice Juan Soto comic. I'll have to order more um, top loaders and sleeves. Soto comic. So I don't know if the red is 
different? Because the rest of them are... Don't have the red in the background. This one actually has the red. I don't know. I don't know if that is a parallel or not. I'm not too sure. Yeah, the rest of them just look normal. So, I honestly don't know. Hmm. Okay. Let's get into these last few packs. Come on. Something nice, guys. Pasquantino again. It looks like we have another foil coming up. Jordan Alvarez. Nolan Ryan. Will Clark. And that pack. packs left guys um I don't know one number card out of three blasters is not too good guys not too good unless we have something crazy out of here I don't know guys I'm hoping we do we get another hit Sandberg on the foil. Okay, two packs left, guys. Babe Ruth, a nice card there. Oh, that's one of those uh, those uh, double cards. That's nice, Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth. That's a really nice one there. I will definitely sleeve that one up. That's a nice card there. Two baseball legends there. I might have had more of those, but I must must have missed them possibly. It's a nice one there, Lou Gehrig and Babe Ruth. All right, guys, last pack, Mojo, guys. Can we get something good? Can we go out with a huge hit? Nolan Ryan on the foil. And no. So, I only got one number card out of three blasters, guys. Um, nothing too crazy. Not A little disappointing. Um, a little bummed. Unfortunately, that wasn't the best rip I've had with archives, and yeah, I don't know. Not too sure if I would get these again. I should just get one of those um, hobby, get an auto, just be done with it, because that was kind of disappointing. Uh, we did get a Babe Ruth and the Lou Gehrig on the double-sided card. Our foils are Nolan Ryan. Ryan Sandberg, Jordan Alvarez, Juan Soto, Ken Griffey the Kid, Josh Young, Joe Moyer, Derek Jeter, Wander Franco. Got some blues. I, I want to say they're from the 2023 top set. Randy Rosarina for PC. Some rookies. James Altman. Got some ton of rookies in the 
2023 set. Zach Nito, Masataka Yoshida. We did get three comics. Gunnar Henderson, Jackie Robinson, and Juan Soto. We did get a Yuri Perez on the rookie card. He's a key rookie to be on the lookout for. Um, we did get one number card of Vinny Pasquantino to 75. There's an aqua foil. Um, other than that, yeah, that wasn't the greatest rip. Uh, like I could have done better. Um, I don't know if I will get much more of the blasters. Maybe after that. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too sure um, how I feel about that. It wasn't a very good rip. I feel like it could have been much better. Like I said, I don't know. Oh, I guess I did get more of those. Um, I got a Julio and a Ken Griffey, so that was a nice one there. Julio, I didn't realize the Ken Griffey was on the back. That's a nice one there. I'll get that sleeved up. See if I have another one. I should have a couple more of those. Um, let me make sure. I Let me see if I have any more of those. I should have at least one more, maybe. Let me double check. Thought maybe I did. Maybe I don't. Maybe they are hard to pull those. Um, yeah, let me check the last stack before I end this video. Make sure I didn't miss them. Yeah, I don't know. I might just get one of those hobby boxes, at least to pull an auto and just be, kind of be done with it. Cause I, I like this set, but at the same time I was very disappointed. It was kind of a kind of a letdown. Um I was expecting yep, I did get another one, so I'll show you guys here in a sec. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more. At least a little couple more number cards at least. But we only got one out of three. So that's kind of a kind of a waste. Uh so it was the Bobby Witt and the George Brett. Those two. Um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like like I said, it wasn't nothing crazy. So um hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, smash the subscribe button, smash that thumbs up well. Appreciate your guys' support. Have fun collecting, and if, I'll see you guys in the next video. I might do another bonus video for you guys. It just depends on my mood, and I want to rip some more. That was kind of disappointing. Um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, until then, just be on the lookout for my next video. Until then, be safe, have fun collecting. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.